What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And what shall man give in exchange for his souls? So folks, that's an honest question to ask yourself today. What are you living your life for? What are you going to college for? What are, you, what are your ambitions in life? Because at the end, folks, only that what you do in the name of Jesus is going to matter, folks. And you could get all the education you want. You could be the, have all the technology you want. But you're never going to be smarter than God, folks. And I know that's a world that we live in today. That's the world we live in today. Folks, men think they're smarter than God. They think they could control the climate. They think that they could conquer uh, every disease without going to God in prayer about it. That they could even uh, force you to live your life based on what they recommend for you. And that's, folks, really, look at this crowd here. When you think about it, folks, one day, if you're not born again and you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, one day you're going to have to pay the piper. Yeah, think about it. What, what are you willing to give for your education? What, what are you willing to give? Your body is a slave? Most of America, that's what they've done today. But one day, you're going to have to pay the piper. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. With all you're getting tonight, you better not forget that there's a God in heaven, that he created all men, and for his pleasure, they are and were created. He made them male and female. That's right, folks, you heard me right here. You men and, and girls, he made you a man or a girl. He created the genders. He created the earth. He even created the human body with an immune system to handle your diseases, if you will trust in that. But man doesn't trust in God today. They trust in their own science. They trust in their own technology. But let me tell you something, folks. I hope that in all your education, you're not going to uh, go against the living God, Jesus Christ, someday. Because someday there's going to come a technology that's even going to bring a, an image to life that's going to cause every man, small and great, to, to take a mark in his right hand or forehead. Nope! The, the big V wasn't it, folks. All that was is a precursor to it. But you know what? Technology's going to bring that about. Even the technology of RIT might bring it about. But you know what? All them people, folks, when that image comes out, they're going to actually think that they did conquer God. They're actually going to say, hey, we finally now can control everything. And now without God, we can have the real peace in this world. But you know what? It's not going to be a peace. It's going to bring forth destruction. Men are going to break out with boils in their skins. They're going to curse God when they realize that they can't control the climate someday. When God sends scorching heat on them. And they're going to shake their fists at God. And I hope with all your education that you're not going to be one of those that are going to be shaking their fist at God. Because you have an accountability someday. You're going to be responsible for your own self, not your peers' responsibility, not, uh, not your families or your upbringing. You're going to be responsible. You're going to stand before God. You're going to stand uh, before Him in judgment when He opens those books. One day He's going to open the books. And, and he's going to judge men written out of those things written in the books. I hope you're not trusting in man today. I hope you're not trusting in your education today. I hope you're not trusting in science today. Because you better trust in the living God. Because God is not dead, folks. He's alive and very well. He's the living God. And the Word of God says that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. And you better fear God today, and you better realize that He will bring your sin into judgment someday. But He calls all men everywhere to repent. The good news is today that you can have eternal life because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He took your place for your sins. 
He shed his own blood so that you could have life. Jesus said, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. What door are you entering in today? Many people entering into different doors to go in to see their hockey game. But how many people are entering into the doors that are going to lead to eternal life? How many people are going to enter into that straight and narrow gate that leads to life? Because the Word of God says, few are going to find it. Straight is the gate. And narrow is the way that leads to life, and few are going to find it. But wide and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many be that go in thereat. So folks, today, while you're going to uh, see your hockey game, you're uh, making plans for your education and what you're going to do in the future, you better allow the Lord Jesus Christ to be a part of your future. You better make Jesus Christ a part of your future and more than Him being a part of your future, but let Him be uh, the payment for your sin, which, you're, which is going to that your debt is going to come due someday. You have a debt that's going to come due. If you don't have the blood of Jesus Christ someday, that one day you're going to have to pay your debt in eternity in hell. That's right, folks. You, you are not going to be able to pay your debt sin. But the Lord Jesus Christ paid that debt. And you have this life and the life that the Lord Jesus Christ uh, gave you to find that salvation it's not a very far off it's right here nigh to you tonight the salvation of the lord jesus christ is nigh unto you tonight but it's a matter of you receiving it but most of the world will not receive it because they have their own way they don't have the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the Word of God says that there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Are the ways of death. So Jesus Christ came to bring life, to give life. He is the author of eternal life. He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. And this is the record that God hath given to us, eternal life. And this life is in His Son. And that was the verse before that one I said. But I'm telling you tonight, folks, turn to the living God, Jesus Christ, before it's too late. He loved you and died for your sins, and He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life.